um, you mentioned produce. I wanted to just before we go to our um, our interview and before we go to our pro- our new product segment, trying stuff. Yes. Um, new title TBD. If anyone's got a title <laughs> idea, send it my way. That's right. Uh, I want to just touch on some research that uh, the lab released uh, just at the beginning of September about Canadians and produce. Uh, 29.3% of Canadians bought enough produce to match recommended amount by Canada's new food guide. So um, were you happy with this? I mean, it basically looks like a recognition uh, about consuming produce. But tell me about the study and, and what your what your net conclusions were. Yeah, so I actually work with my friend Vicenta from uh, from our Faculty of Agriculture here on this project. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, we wanted to know uh, exactly how much uh, produce Canadians are, are consuming versus what is recommended by Health Canada with Canada's uh, food guide, the new food guide, which was presented in 2019. If you remember, Michael, you know, that plate, half of yep. it. Fruits veggies. and vegetables right there. Do you, uh, so it, it's basically 29.3% of Canadians actually admit that they're eating uh, enough produce uh, based on recommendations made by Health Canada. So this is a survey. It's a self-reporting survey. So my guess it's the percentage is probably lower. So, so, so either, either Canadians are telling <laughs> us, uh, you know, this is what we can do, and and Health Canada's ambitions are way too high. <laughs> or we need to do some work in terms of promoting uh, fruits and vegetables uh, during this wonderful year of uh, what's the International Year of Fruits and Vegetables this year. Uh, I, I, did you forget about no, that, Michael? I I had no idea, uh, but I there love you your go. point about self-reporting bias. It's funny because it makes me think that everyone knows they should be eating lots of produce oh, yeah. and would even kind of over report based on, you know, geez, I should be eating. I'm sure I eat more, uh, but it's a great point. I mean, it's a really interesting point about produce. Um, so uh, lots of, st- uh, just about that, you've got some more research coming out from the lab, I suspect this year. Can we expect yeah. more uh, oh, yeah, stuff? Absolutely. This- so we have a report to work on a report for October on salmon consumption. If you're interested, mm-hmm. that's coming out. I'm, I'm working with my colleague, Stephanie Colombo on that one. We're also actually releasing just before Halloween a new study on allergies uh, in partnership with Allergies Canada. And so, uh, and we're also uh, launching this week a new survey on on food inflation perception. What are yeah. people doing to save a bit of money uh, before going to the grocery store and in the grocery store? So that's coming out early October. 